With Apple's September event, it's going to be releasing some great new hardware. New iPhones, new Apple Watches, maybe new AirPods. But we're also going to get iOS 16. Apple's going to be releasing it to the public. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through when iOS 16 will be released and some big features that didn't make the cut for the 16.0 release. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I already have done a video on when we're going to see Apple September event and what to expect. If you didn't see it, here's the Cliff Notes version. It's likely going to be on September 7th. Now this is still just a rumor at this point, hasn't been confirmed by Apple, but if that holds true, it gives us a good idea on when Apple will be holding this event and when we'll see the software and hardware releases to follow. Here's what I think is going to happen. Apple is going to hold its press event on September 7th. Just following this event, after Apple announces the iPhones, the Apple Watches, the AirPods, all of that, Apple will release the GM build, the Goldmaster Grandmaster, the final version, the RC, the release candidate, that final version of iOS 16 to both developers and public beta testers. That'll come right after the event on the 7th then we would likely see the full actual release sometime the next week. So if the GMRC is coming out on the 7th, we would see the full version coming out the 12th to the 16th. If Apple sticks with its traditional patterns, the iPhones could go on sale at the end of that first week with a full release of those phones on the 16th. And iOS 16 would need to be available to everybody before the phones land on September 16th. Say Apple does release iOS 16 between September 12th and September 15th. What features will be missing? Unfortunately, there are a few notable ones that aren't going to make it in time for launch day. Starting out is live activities. Live activities show on your phone's lock screen. It gives you live updates on a current event. It could be your Uber arriving. It could be your Grubhub order getting to wherever you are. It could be uh, the status of a sports game, the score of the latest uh, Tribe game or a Browns game, whatever it might be. But all of that will show in real time on your lock screen. They're really cool. And Apple has shared some information with developers, but unfortunately it's not gonna make it in time for 16.0 in all of our hands. The next feature that's not gonna make the cut is support for Matter. Technically, Matter is in iOS 16 and it's operational and functional and works just fine. But Matter as a standard has not been released. That is expected to be released this fall. And when it does, iOS 16 will be ready. So when Matter is ready, iOS 16 will as well. There are two features in Game Center that don't look like they're polished enough yet either. Contacts integration and share play support don't look like Apple has them fully baked in time for the 16.0 release. Then we have the Freeform app. Available on multiple platforms, though Apple primarily highlighted it on iPadOS, the Freeform app was never going to be released with 16.0 of iOS or iPadOS. Apple has always said from the start that it was going to take a little longer and would be released in a subsequent update, likely uh, iOS 16.1 and iPadOS 16.1. Apple still hasn't even issued a developer beta of the free form app. So yeah, this makes sense, but it's not going to be there for the launch. Speaking of iPadOS though, Apple also is going to be missing its focus filter abilities with iPadOS and iPadOS in general. iPadOS likely won't be shipping until maybe October. We hope it could make it in September, but based on the current state and how Stage Manager works, it probably will be a little bit. Apple hasn't officially delayed iPadOS 16, but right now, that's what rumors are saying. So let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for the release of iOS 16? Are you sad about these missing features in that first build? Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be along shortly. Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned, because I've got a lot more videos and rumor roundups heading your way.